Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about what's new in iOS 9 Beta 4. It seems like with each consecutive iOS 9 beta release, Apple is continuing to change more and more every time. And the same is true with today's iOS 9 beta 4. There is so much to talk about, so let's jump into it right now. We are going to start by opening up the settings app, and you've probably already noticed the first change. As you can see right here on the left side of my screen, the notifications icon is now red instead of the grayish color that the control center icon is below. And also there was an issue introduced in last beta, which was iOS 9 beta 3, where the battery icon was completely squared and it didn't look like a rounded rectangle like it does now. As you can see though, it has been fixed in iOS 9 beta 4. Also, if we head over to the camera app, I know many of you guys were disappointed that when you turn the phone and you try to take a picture with the volume buttons, it wouldn't actually work. That was actually just a bug in iOS 9 beta 3 that has also been fixed, as you can see, in iOS 9 beta 4. If we scroll down once again in the settings app until we see the music preference panel, at the bottom of this, you can see that home sharing has been reintroduced not only to iOS 9, but iOS in general. For whatever reason, iOS 8.4 just removed the home sharing option completely, and many people were concerned about that and if you were, well, it is going to be included in iOS 9 when it comes out at some point in the fall. Now, while we're still on the topic of Apple Music, let's head over to the Music app so I can also show you guys another change in this beta. If you tap on the three more info dots next to pretty much anything that you see, you're going to have a new little section redesigned at the top part of your screen. So instead of the album art being, being incredibly tiny and it just saying the name of what's playing the album and the artist, you've now got features like I like this song, the little heart right there, the plus sign for add to my music, and also a share button right here as well. And once again, the album art is bigger too. I think this looks much nicer than how it does as iOS 8.4. As you can see here on the right side of the screen, that's iOS 8.4 on the left, is this new view in iOS 9 beta 4. It's just much more graphically user interface friendly. It looks a lot nicer than text saying share this song or like this song or add this to my music. Just looks a lot nicer. I'm going to cut my rambling short on that. If you head over to the app switcher in iOS 9 beta 4 and you're using handoff on two of your devices, I'm going to go ahead and launch Safari there on my Mac. And as soon as I do that, handoff no longer appears kind of like an app switcher card as it did in previous iOS 9 betas or even for the matter in iOS 8. It appears as a notification-like banner at the bottom of your screen, which I think looks incredibly nice. And from here, you can just swipe up on it like so, and handoff works just like that. Whatever web pages I was viewing on my Mac in Safari, I'm now viewing in Safari on my iPad. Also new in this beta, if we're browsing Safari and we say try to send a new tweet and we want to attach a picture, we've got a redesigned photo attachment sheet. We now have the option to take a picture, view our photo library like camera roll and stuff like that, view, iC view iCloud Drive, take a look at Dropbox, and we even have more options if you have additional third-party extensions on your device. So there's quite a few new options to attach a picture, I believe, before you only had the ability to attach a picture from your camera roll. So now you can take a picture and add pictures from third-party sources as well. As we continue to roll on through these changes, let's head over back to the settings app once again, tap on general, and navigate to spotlight search. In iOS 9 beta 4, we now have the option to disable being web results. So if you just didn't use those or they're annoying you in spotlight search for whatever reason, you've got a toggle right there to disable them. Also, if you head over to the podcast application on the iPad in iOS 9, there is a new button right here that will actually allow you to pop a video podcast out of the default window, drag it around your device, and use it like you would use a video from maybe the Videos app. That just wasn't present in any previous version of the iOS 9 beta, so glad to see that's here now. So those are all of the currently discovered changes present in iOS 9 beta 4. However, if more or new changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post over on my website, which you can visit if you'd like by tapping on the i in the top right hand corner of the screen and clicking on the first card that appears. If you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to hit that like button down below, and for more coverage on future iOS 9 betas, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more iOS 9 coverage. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, hope you guys had an awesome day. And I will talk to you in the next one.